Video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create some unusual designs that can be used in envelope distorts. Now, not all paths can be used in envelope distorts, unfortunately, with type. And I've just got some type here that I've just created using the type tool. Now, you can obviously just go for, I'm just going to select the ellipse tool. And if I just select that and then select that and that, so I've got that one on top and object and envelope distort and make with top object and see what happens. It suddenly distorts itself and you can just see a really lovely little sort of spherical text. Now, you don't want that. Undo make envelope. Now, if I can try and do it with say like, I think, oh, it would be nice to have a, a ring design. Now, sadly, that's not possible. So just going to so try that. And then if I try that, object and envelope distort, make with top object. Now, it'd be really nice if we could, but it comes up with, sadly, this error. Now, but you can use other objects. I'm just going to remove that now. So you can create very complex shapes, but the key thing is to avoid making them a compound. So you actually just go, well, you can actually use like type as well. Type is quite, now you can't use every letter. So if you try and say, go with, I'm just going to type the, now that, it will not work because you've got the E, E there. With the TH, that will be okay. So you could actually just create a nice, and I'm just going to do that TH, go with that one, and you can expand that out. And I'm just going to expand, it won't work with type. So expand and and ungroup helps at that point because what I want to do is actually join that together. I want to avoid it being a compound, so I'm just going to select it like that. So I'm just going to select there, so you've got no sort of gaps appearing or hollows in the thing. So I'm just going to expand that out a bit so you can see that. And then if I select that text and that, and of course you can obviously avoid most of the things with obviously kind of A, etc., or B. Now, what you can do then, object and envelope distort, make with top object. And then again, you will see it. Now, what the result is actually is pretty uh, a mess, but uh, it does show that you can actually create some really interesting sort of distortions as a sort of, sort of you can see it followed around there. Now, I don't want that, so I'm just going to go undo scale and undo make envelope, so I'm just going to remove that. Now, what you can also do, and I'm just going to now just add again. Now, one thing with this, I'm just going to create some blobs. So you can just create a blob, blob, obviously not really blobs, but it's a circles, and I'm going to combine them all. Now, the key thing is not to have a gap in suddenly in the in the center, so you don't, you don't want to sort of join that, and then you'd have that little gap in there. What you want is a sort of long line, and you can have them going off, off in that direction and small little bits there. Right, so you've got that design. Now that's a perfectly reasonable design for the wall. So just gonna distort. So just gonna unite them all. And now with that like that, I can just go up there, object and again envelope distort, make it with top object. And then you've got that shape there. So you've got a nice little sort of bubble shape being created, you can see the distortion, there's such distortions around some points, and of course you can tweak those, you can still edit the points, you can just go over here, just use the direct selection tool, and you can just edit the individual points there, maybe in there as well, just to pull that out if you wish. So I drag that out, and it might take a few seconds to reprocess, but you can see you can actually distort these as well. And of course you can actually add Another distortion, you can actually go on top of that. So you can actually add, say, a circle and another circle there. Now, key thing is they're still joined. You want them all to be in one. If you've got them separate, one work again. Needs to be one continuous design. So you can actually just select that and that and that and that. Select all those and then again. Unite them, and it's done, and then select that. 
Now it might take a few seconds to process. It's going to be quite a complex text now. So envelope distort and make with top object. And now that will distort inside there. You've got that. You know, you've actually got that design. Now, after all that, and you, I've gone with circles, but you could use any kind of sharp shapes, designs, ellipses, stars, multiple stars, maybe make cover it across in anyway. There's literally nothing other than, as I say, compounds. And once you can do that, you can just go expand. And once you've expanded, you'll see that the text has become virtually unreadable. But might be useful for a page. I think. And of course, you can, uh, once it actually lets me not see that. You can then use it maybe in Photoshop, maybe copy it over into After Effects and a range of other products and modify it even more. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.